minus. In the propagation step, n h to m n minus reacts with ammonia and produces n h to m n h plus n h two. Why don't we call it as, especially this step as termination step because of course it results as the formation of our final polymer but yields as the formation of another anion means it seems to be initiation step because the former NH2- again reacts with monomers it continuously takes place. So for that reason, for this reason this is not termination step it is called as initiation, sorry, propagation step only. So this is anionic polymerization let us consider one more example for anionic polymerization by using alkyl lithiums generally alkyl lithiums ch2 double bond ch r so if r is equals to c6 h5 then it is called as styrene we can consider styrene as monomer so when this monomer reacts with alkyl lithium generally in alkyl lithium alkyl group always with negative charge and lithium with positive charge that means it is the more electronegative species in case of alkyl lithium so these electrons are going to shift here and these electrons migrate here to produce R CH2 CH minus R this is neutralized by lithium ions of alkyl lithium. In the next step that is this we can consider it as chain initiation step and we can consider the next step as chain propagation CH2 CH minus or Li plus from here it is going to react with one more molecule CH2 double bond CH R. How many n number of these species can produce R CH2 CH R. So again the same thing repeats here CH2 CH minus R lithium plus. So it continuously takes place finally produces R CH2 CH you can write it as N here R CH2 CH double bond R so this is the expected polymerization in this polymerization the initiatives initiation takes place by negative species or anions hence it is called as anionic polymerization so this is what is ionic polymerization under addition polymerization once again the two types of addition polymerizations are ionic polymerization and free radical polymerization again ionic polymerization are two types they are cationic polymerization and anionic polymerization with this end of ionic polymerization one more type of polymerization that is free radical polymerization free radical polymerization So what are free radical for, for, uh, free radical polymerization means during the polymerization or if any polymerization reaction step initiated by the free radicals such polymerization reactions are called as free radical polymerization. So once again what are free radical polymerization those polymerization reaction initiated by free radicals though they are called as poly, uh, free radical polymerization reactions here free radicals are produced from free radicals are 
produced from produced from radical initiators free radicals are produced from radical initiators the the chemical substances which can disconnect the homolytic cleavage of another chemical substances to produce to promote the formation of free radicals are called as radical initiators so what are the examples for radical initiators examples for radical initiators are benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide acetyl peroxide tertiary butyl peroxide so what are these three the three chemical substances are termed as radical initiators what they are going to do generally so they promotes homolytic cleavage of bond to produce free radicals so let us have a mechanism mechanism how the free radical polymerization takes place to produce our polymers i want to consider benzoyl peroxide we can consider it as ph c double bond o o h this free radical polymerization to explain free radical polymerization i would like to consider polymerization of or preparation of polythene so here when ethene molecules are added with benzoyl peroxide when exposed it to sunlight or photolight the bond cleavage takes place homolytically to produce free radicals the formed free radicals may participates in polymerization and finally produces polythene as our polymer from free radical uh, as intermediates so let us write here this free radical polymerization process also completes in three steps the first step is initiation second step is propagation third step is termination again free radical polymerization is also a type of addition polymerization addition polymerizations are called as chain growth polymerization hence the three steps which included in free radical polymerization are called as chain initiation step chain propagation step and chain termination step so let us explain how the mechanism takes place how the polymerization takes place to yields us the formation of polythene from ethene by using benzoyl peroxide as initiator in the presence of photolight here h nu indicates sunlight in the presence of sunlight homolytic cleavage of oxygen hydrogen bond takes place to produce ph c double bond o one second here benzoyl peroxide that means we have to take like this sorry for this benzoyl peroxides are ph c double bond o o o c double bond o ph this is what benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide 